This week's Vikings Game Plan DraftKings Star of the Week is Adam Thielen. Alrighty, winning formula into this Bengals game. Ron Johnson, Vikings Game Day Live, WabbyVikings.com. Paul Allen first, back to the Carolina game, and we begin like this. Do you like or loathe Cam Newton? I love him. I love Cam Newton. I mean, he's exciting. Newton, wide open. Newton, inside the 40, inside the 20. All the way to the six as Waynes tried to strip it away. He's a big, huge, quarterback can't throw the ball as well but I mean he's a weapon at all times running I mean he just he's Cam Newton and the celebrations are cool yeah he's a, a career 58 percent guy so that probably needs to improve I loathe Cam Newton you loathe him he dashed my dreams yes he did I wanted hats and t-shirts last weekend and Cam Newton almost single-handedly took that away from me I loathe him uh, back to that Carolina game for a final time. What positive, from a Viking standpoint, can we take out of that loss to Carolina? I look at Coach Zimmer, and he gets a new tool that he can use to teach, and that is adversity. I mean, for the last nine weeks, basically, he had to teach his guys how to handle prosperity and success. Now, if that message was getting dull at all, it won't anymore because now he's got a lot of mistakes he can point to, and I think that will help him teach. Ronald? I like that. There is no surprises now with Carolina if that's a team you have to play in the playoffs. You know all their tricks. I like the fact that down 11 points when people thought the game was pretty much over, the Vikings came back and almost forced an overtime. Adam Thielen, of course, with the big play for the touchdown. Down the middle, caught Thielen. Thielen breaks the tackle inside the 20. Thielen takes it for the touchdown. 11 points. They came back. A lot of people probably turned the TV off or left the game. The radio. Went. Yeah, everything. Now in that Carolina game, the Vikings got banged up a little bit offensively. Into the Cincinnati game, which Vikings offensive player do we need back most quickly? Reef, you got to have a tackle. You got to have that tackle because that's the guy. I mean, he's been anchoring that side of the line. You've seen a lot of the screens go that way. Elf line, I know, was a part of that screen game, but that left side of that line, you have to solidify it. Tough to get around that one, O'Reilly Reef. Right church, wrong pew, Ron. I'm going to go with another offensive lineman, Pat Elf line, the man in the middle. I know he's a rookie, but he's very important to the operation. I yeah. think the playbook expands a little more when you have Pat Elfline in the game. Ron is right. I mean, left tackle is the premium position on the offensive line. It would be great to have Reef back. We do have Rashad Hill that we can kick over there. But um, I think the absence of Pat Elfline was felt right away in that game. These quarterbacks this season have been unbelievable. Now, Fairness and Quarterback Act, we're going to eliminate Aaron Rodgers because he only played part of a quarter against the Vikings at the House of Pain. So, rank the three best quarterbacks we have played this season, 3-2-1. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers. No, he's eliminated. Don't you listen? <laughs> no, I'm he go, doesn't. I don't listen. I'm going to go Drew Brees is going to be my three. Ben Roethlisberger would be my two. And Matt Stafford is going to be my one just yeah. because he has found a way with Marvin Jones and Golden Tate to gash the Vikings at all times. What do you think? I, I like the way that we defended Ben Roethlisberger. I respect him, but I don't fear him. So I'm going to put him third on that list. He's still in the top three. I'm going to go with Ron's guy at number two, though, Cam Newton, mm -hmm. because he's different than any of the other quarterbacks that we've faced. He is a different challenge. It's the read option or the zone read. It's his ability to get outside the pocket. And even when he doesn't get outside the pocket, it's what defenders do yeah. because they're afraid of that. So I'll put him at number two. And Love it. I think Ron is right that Drew Brees is number one on this list, Super Bowl winner. So I have a massive amount of respect for him. And the Vikings this week get Andy Dalton, who hasn't had the greatest Andy Dalton season in the history of Andy Dalton this year but overall he's a pretty accomplished quarterback with Cincinnati at five and eight question Cincinnati makes the playoffs every season what happened I think it's been a downturn ever since Zim and Gruden left you go to Zampezi and then you go to Lazar I just don't think they they didn't score a touchdown for like the first four or five weeks so 
They just cannot figure this offense out. It's not going well. They fired Zampezi, tried to get it going with Lazar. He's gotten a little bit of success, but I think that's the biggest issue. If you don't have a good offense going, as we've seen, and a good coordinator with yep. Shermer, you just don't have anything. Do the Vikings become division champions today? Yes. Do the Vikings become division champions today? Yes, hats and t-shirts coming. Which means we will have won the division two of the last three years, which means we are the kings of the north. For everybody here at the Vikings Entertainment Network, I'm Paul Allen. That's Vikings Game Plan. Thanks for watching.